<laughs> but I wanted to welcome you all for coming and uh, uh, supporting our fine candidates in Airmont. Uh, for trustee, we have Dennis Cohn and Ralphie Bracco. And for <laughs> and for a judge, once again for re-election, we have our very own Anthony Benedict. And these are our very fine candidates. We have a very fine village board in Airmont. We have a very calm village board in Airmont, which that alone is something that is a success over the previous uh, 15 years. And uh, we have a little bit of every kind of representation in Airmont. We have Dennis Kay, who is our very fine mayor. Where's Dennis? And Dennis is an excellent steward of the ship of state in Airmont. In these trying economic times, he watches every penny. Uh, he's very fair to everyone. No decisions are made before the uh, residents of Airmont are polled and before the communities that are affected uh, find out about it and have a chance to weigh in. And that's very important in, in inspiring local confidence. We also have um, Anthony Valenti. Where's Anthony? Anthony's our deputy mayor. <laughs> And Anthony presents, uh, age-wise, no offense, Dennis, the opposite side of the uh, spectrum. He's a father, he has young children, so we have that kind of representation, which is so important for the future of the village of Aramont. And then, of course, we have uh, Ronnie Bose. Where's Ronnie? <laughs> Ronnie brings another perspective. She's a retired teacher. She's been very active on the Italian Twinning Committee, the uh, Rockland Historical uh, society and so she brings uh, that uh, extracurricular and charitable uh, component uh, uh, of the nonprofits to the village of Aramont a little bit of the outside in uh, we do appreciate the efforts of both uh, Dennis and Ralphie and our judge uh, for these last few years and months uh, both of them have showed so much dedication to the village no matter which party they agreed with and which politicians they agreed with and disagreed with. And both did. And that shows you where we stand today because 10 years ago we wouldn't all be standing in the same circle. But we are because they are dedicated to the village. They're dedicated to the people of Vermont, no matter who's sitting in the chair as mayor. And that's the type of representation that we need in our village for people who care for the village. We don't have to really get involved when this year is going to be a change. We're going to have a national uh, committee candidate on our ballot. And I don't believe that a Democrat or a Republican in the village of Vermont is how we have to run our village. It has to be local people, people who are involved. And we have to get that message out because that is a change that's going to occur for the first time. And we don't want that to be successful this time and in the future. We want to stay as independents. We want to be able to serve our community. And both of these people, if you look at their resumes, have been involved in this village from day one, probably from before day one in the village. I'm looking at one, I know for sure, both. So um, you're looking at a mayor who signed the petition to dissolve the village So um, back then. So it's important that they get elected. It's important that we back them. And as Joe indicated, it's the first time in 15 years that we have a board that works together. That there isn't, we always don't vote the same way. We have a lot of discussion to agree. But when we step away from that discussion, we move on to the next one. We don't hold it against each other. And that's the important part of working together. And it has taken 15 or 16 years for that to happen. The last two years, we probably passed more bills more legislation than we have in the previous 15 years together, most likely. So by doing that and by you coming out, we're going to make it happen. Thank you. Um, village government is very, very important. It's close to the people. It really responds to the very real issues that impact our lives on a daily basis. And when you have a village board that is able to work together, that is able to do intelligent response to very real issues in the community, to be able to draw in community and collaborate and work together. It is a huge difference, and it certainly does make a difference for the lives of, of the families and the children who live in the village of Vermont. The board is well respected throughout the county 
for the approach that it has had under very, very difficult circumstances on occasion. But they have worked together, as they have discussed, and, and working with each other in a way that, that I believe government needs to work. You agree with on some things, you disagree on some things, but you move forward together because you care deeply about the community. Uh, thank you very much, and thanks everyone for coming out and showing the support. If uh, We really appreciate it. Uh, again, it, it's really difficult to speak fourth in line here because everything has been said. But again, the key is uh, having a village board that works together, uh, that's not in the newspaper uh, fighting each other. Now, and as Dennis Kay said, we don't always agree on every issue, but at least we discuss them. Each point of view is uh, maturely heard. And, uh, and then we move on to the next issue. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. I want to thank our Assemblywoman Ellen Jaffe for being here and supporting this village from day one. Uh, this village I was involved in from day one. We started probably in 1984 creating the village. We went through highs and lows, as everybody spoke about. But I think today, if I may say, to the leadership of the mayor, Dennis Kay, this village is going to go a long way. I believe in the future this village will be um, uh, a model for all the rest of the village to see how we work and how the community works together to help each other. Uh, I, I take a lot of respect for the mayor putting me on the board. As everybody knows, there was a lot of controversy, there was a lot of ups and downs. But like I said, you know, we work together and since I'm on this board since November, I see a lot of activity working, the village hall, for one, is a beautiful place. I mean, with the help of every trustee in this village and all the personnel in the village hall that works there each and every day, they do a hell of a job. I, I can't say enough thanks to everybody there. It's important that the people come out and support us because as Dennis said, this is an election that's very low key. You know, in villages that don't have controversy and all, you don't get a lot of people out. The economy is bad. A lot of people have to live and worry about tomorrow. So it's very hard to make people get involved in something that's really not so important to them. As I always felt that the United Village Board is a great village board. My wife and I for 38 years worked out that way for a lot of years and we had ups and downs and to this day I thank her so much for allowing me to go forward in, into government. You know, the point I always tell people is that we work for the people, we do for the people. And I say all the time, I want to thank the entire board to appoint me in November to this, uh, zone, to this planning board. They put me on I'm sorry, the village board. They put me on the zoning board for a while, which was a nice thing with Marty and all on that board for a while. I just think that we have to get out there, get people to vote. I want to thank everybody for coming. It's an important election because we don't want to have possibly somebody in the middle of this uh, village board causing a little dissension. Uh, I just thank you all for coming again, and I really wish everybody votes for us. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for coming here today and joining with us and assisting us and helping us in our campaign. Um, I've been the village judge since we started the village court back in the mid-1990s. And I've been in various courtrooms in our village. We started court, as everybody knows, when the village was over on Route 59. The court meandered down to the town hall, Clark Center. We even hold, held court one night in a gazebo at, at Clark Center. And I really appreciate it. The court was the first branch, if you will, of the, of the village government to use the new building, to use the new assembly room. It is fantastic. And I want to thank Mayor Kay and the rest of the members of the village board for letting the court go first. Thank you. <laughs> it's a rarity that we get to go first. I really, really appreciate the work that the village board has done. Um, I didn't realize that Ellen was able to assist the village with so much money until I came here tonight. We're also getting a magnetometer, which we'll be setting up, compliments of the state. Uh, we'll be setting that up in the courtroom. We're, we're oh, okay, a magnetometer. When, when you walk in and you got a, a knife or a, or a weapon, it, 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 protects, it protects people in the courtroom. Uh, our court is very busy, uh, believe it or not. We, people may not see how busy it is, but we are a very busy court. We have ShopRite, we have Walmart, 
and we have a lot of other activity in our village and it's it's almost an eye-opening experience for me and anytime any one of the you wish to come to our court and see what's going on, I'll be more than happy to explain to you or show you, or you can just sit in the courtroom and see. It's, it's a very, very busy court for a small village. Uh, we have court twice a month, Thursday evenings. Uh, I enjoy being our village judge, and I really, really appreciate the support that I get from everybody here. Uh, and again, if everybody's welcome to come to the court, it's open, anybody can come. Thank you very much for your support today. Court, we don't mean in the in the usual capacity. <laughs> <laughs>